In this video, we'll be taking a look at factorizing simple expressions. So here we have an example. We want to factorize 18xy minus 3yz plus 15y. So we always start these by identifying the common factors. So if we start with the numbers 18, 3 and 15, we have to figure out what number would divide into all of those, if any. So 18, 3 and 15, well we start with 3 is the smallest, 3 goes into that number, so 3 into 3 goes once, 3 also goes into 18, goes 6 times, and 3 also goes into 15, 5 times. So our common factor, one of them will be 3. Next we take a look at the letters, so we have x, y, we have y, z, and we have y here. So you can see from that, the only letter that's common to all three is y. So our common factors are 3 and y. So that means 3 times y should divide into each of these numbers evenly. So 3y is the common factor. So we'll just divide 3y into each of these numbers. So 18xy divided by 3y minus 3yz divided by 3y plus 15y divided by 3y. So as I said, 3y is the common factor, so we'll just take it outside the brackets. And in so doing, we must divide each term by 3y. So that would be equal to 3y multiplied by 18xy divided by 3y. We have to figure that out next. So 18 divided by 3 is 6. xy, so y divided by y goes once. So we're just left with the x. 3yz, 3 divided by 3 goes once. y divided by y also goes once. So it's 1 by 1 by z. 15 divided by 3, that goes 5 times, and y divided by y goes once, 5 by 1 is just 5. So that's our expression factorised. We have 3y outside multiplied by 6x minus z plus 5. If you wanted to check your answer to make sure it was right, you'd just multiply in the 3y again. So you'd multiply 3y by 6x, 3y by minus z, and 3y by 5. And you should end up with what you started with. So we'll just check that. So as I said, our sum is complete. We have factorised it. But if you want to check your answer, just multiply back in the 3y and you should end up with what you started with. So this is just to check your answer. So 3y by 6x, 3 by 6 is 18, y by x, xy. 3y by minus z, that will give you minus 3yz. And 3y by plus 5 is plus 15y. So as you can see, when you multiply it back in, you should, you should end up with what you started with, which we do in this case. So that's just a simple way of checking your answer.